Now, if you're a gamer, video cards are one of those components that really gets you excited. Well, this is the HIS R9 380X Ice Q X2 Turbo 4GB GDDR5 video card. And the box looks awesome, although it doesn't have pictures of the product on it. That's pretty typical of HIS boxes, but there is plenty of features and specifications. Looks like HIS has changed their packaging somewhat. It's all cardboard here at the top. They include an installation guide, user's manual, and a DBI to VGA adapter, and the card which is in an anti-static bag and has this protective plastic which I'll remove. Okay, so let's get started. The R9 380X has a PCI Express interface of three and it's based on the Antigua XT core which is built on the 28 nanometer manufacturing process and has five billion transistors. Note though that this is basically a rebrand of the Radeon R8 285 but with higher core and memory speeds. Keep in mind that the current R9 series video cards are considered high-end while the R7 series are entry to middle level. With that being said though, I'd personally stick with uh, the R9 if you are at least a bit serious about gaming. And honestly, the R9 390 series would be the best bet for most hardcore gamers wanting all the eye candy on at high resolutions. Now you might be wondering, what's the difference between the new R series and the older 7000 series? Well, the R series video cards are priced more aggressively so they're cheaper, and in some cases a lot cheaper, particularly the higher end cards, but performance is on par with the 7000 series video cards. Also, so they've went with standard size video card connections which gives more flexibility when connecting to older devices and existing monitors and displays. Also Ifinity for multiple display setups no longer require the use of a display port which is excellent especially for triple panel setups. Now this is a long video card but it's thanks in part to this front cover because look at the printed circuit board. It stops right there. It measures in at 27.8 by 14 by 4.1 centimeters and it doesn't have a blower style fan but rather HIS's Ice Q X2 cooler which has an aluminum heat sink and two of these 86 millimeter fans that blow air right over the mini fins to dissipate the heat and note that while the base plate comes in direct contact with the GPU it doesn't come in contact with the memory. Now these 86 millimeter fans are really quiet, but of course that's in 2D mode and it's around 28 decibels. And of course it will increase when under stress in 3D mode. Oh, and have a look at all of these heat pipes. It comes with four video connections, two DVI, one HDMI, which fully supports 7.1 channel audio, and one DisplayPort. Note that six displays are supported with the use of a DP MST hub. Oh, and I kind of like how they have their logo stamped in here at the back. This video card requires two six pin power connections and the approximate maximum power consumption is 190 watts. Okay, so let's talk specs. The core speed is 1020 megahertz. By the way, the default core speed is 970 and that's why this is called the Turbo Edition. And the four gigabytes of GDDR 256 bit memory is 5.7 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 128 texture units, 32 raster operations, and 2048 stream processors. The pixel fill rate is 32.64 gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate is 131 gigapixels per second. The floating point operation is 4178 gigaflops, and the memory bandwidth is 100 and 82 gigabytes per second. It supports DirectX 12, OpenGL 4.5, OpenCL2, Vulkan, and Mantle. And this API or applications programming interface really breaks new ground in that games with an enabled speak the language of GNC or the graphics core next architecture, allowing outstanding performance and amazing image quality. And essentially this means developers have an outstanding tool to supercharge graphics. As well, ultra resolution up to 4K are possible, and that's four times that of regular HD. It has AMD True Audio technology for amazing sound quality and AMD App Acceleration, which improves performance of everyday tasks such as web browsing, office applications, 
and video rendering. Also, AMD Crossfire technology for amazing multi-video card scaling performance, which is a must for many gamers as well. There's also AMD Power Tune technology, which enables intelligent power monitoring to enable higher clock speeds and thus better performance. Also, to reduce energy costs, AMD has this zero core technology and it allows the video card to consume virtually no power when it is at idle. And finally, for all your 3D viewing pleasure, they have AMD HD 3D technology to play 3D games, watch Blu-ray 3D videos, and the ability to edit 3D photos. This video card has awesome value for money. This is going for around $250, but you're getting a lot for that price. And as for performance, well, it does do a great job there. Anything you're going to throw at this, it's really going to perform. It's intended primarily for 1080p gaming. The overall look, build quality, and styling on this, I think, is awesome. All things considered, though, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. Well, that's it, but I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you think this and other videos that I produce are great, please like them and subscribe to the channel. Also, your comments are very welcome. And if you have any questions, let me know.